Welcome into the Chiefs Report by Chat Sports. I'm Harrison Graham, and on today's show, we're going to get you guys caught up on the latest Chiefs free agency rumors, and we're going to look at that edge position in particular, obviously with Frank Clark set to be released by the start of the league year, barring a last-second change here. Uh, they need more guys who can come off the edge. So let's get things started here with Jadeveon Clowney. Bleacher Report listed Clowney as a Chiefs free agent target. Could Kansas City land the veteran defensive end in NFL free agency? Uh, here's what Alex uh, Ballantyne had to say uh, on this topic. Quote, Clowney has never quite lived up to his potential as a number one pick, but he is an excellent run defender on the edge and is generally productive as a pass rusher. He had only two sacks in his last season with the Cleveland Browns, but had nine in 2021. Uh, and yeah, you look at his recent seasons, it's kind of topsy-turvy, right? Uh, 2021, he was really good. Um, he had injuries the two prior years. This past year, it's hard to know uh, what went wrong in Cleveland. I think a lot of things went wrong with that team for whatever reason. But I think Valentine makes a good point of, yeah, he's never really been that number one pick guy, but he's had a productive career, albeit 2022 was ugly. Uh, didn't play well. Uh, the breakup with the Browns at the end of the season where they kind of just sent him home, that's not a great look, but that could lead to a cheaper contract and maybe some motivation for the veteran player uh, as he uh, enters free agency once again here. I've always liked Clowney as a player. Um, you know, I don't think he's going to give you 10 sacks or anything like that, but I think he could give you five or six and uh, be a good run stopper at as well. So uh, I'll be curious to see what his market is. I'd be curious to know uh, how the Chiefs and Brett Veach view him. We know uh, that Kansas City needs an edge. That's number one. And we also know that this is the type of guy that they're able to maximize. Someone who's had some ups and downs, both as a player and, uh, you know, maybe in locker rooms as well. And uh, you bring him into this culture and maybe you get the best out of Jadavion Clowney, uh, who's still fairly young at this point. Now, would you sign Jadavion Clowney? Type S for sign or P for pass. This will be the pinned comment on today's video. So if you get hit with the YouTube ad break, reply with an S for sign or a P for pass. How about Marcus Davenport is a free agent option? ESPN named Davenport as a player the Chiefs need to sign. Uh, and we've talked about him a little bit as his last two years have been certainly interesting. Uh, Aaron Schatz of ESPN uh, made an interesting point uh, saying this, saying ignore his minuscule total of half a sack in 2022. Uh, Davenport had only slightly fewer hurries, 25 to 22, and the same number of hits, 22, uh, that he had in two more games in 2021. Those numbers strongly suggest that Davenport will rebound in the sack department in 2023. Now, I'm not necessarily in the camp of, Oh, ignore the numbers. He actually was fairly close to the same player in 22 compared to 2021 because I don't necessarily think that. But I think some of those advanced numbers can suggest that, okay, like, yeah, he had a down year, but this isn't a guy that's necessarily fallen off a cliff. Uh, he just didn't uh, finish enough plays uh, like he did the year before. Now, I'll give some more thoughts on whether or not I would sign uh, Marcus Davenport here in just a moment. But today's show is sponsored by Athletic Greens. We've been telling you guys about AG1 for a couple of months now as I started taking them uh, early on in the new year, and I've never felt more energetic. Football season was long toward the end of it. The Super Bowl run, I needed a little pick-me-up to start my day, and with the single scoop with AG1, I've never felt better, and now with free agency uh, about to heat up, uh, AG1 is going to help me get through the next week as well. Uh, not only is AG1 helping me get back into good habits, I'm already seeing better digestion also. Improving my gut health is something that I've needed to do, and now it's happening with the single scoop every single day. Covering my nutrition basis for the day literally could not be easier, which is why I trust Athletic Greens. I just mix one small scoop of AG1 with water and drink it first thing in the morning. I also like that it costs less than three bucks per day. Pretty good deal if you ask me. Uh, it's a really effective daily habit with the highest quality sourced ingredients, a true win-win. If a comprehensive solution is what you need from your supplement routine, then Athletic Greens is giving you a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. So go to our link, athleticgreens.com slash chat sports, athleticgreens.com slash chat sports. Check it out. AG1 will help promote your gut health, support your immunity, and boost your energy. It's Athletic Greens. Go to athleticgreens.com slash chat sports. Now, again, when you look at Davenport's past two years, uh, 
it's just not the same, right? Nine sacks last year, half a sack this year. Uh, nine TFLs last year, just two this year. Three forced fumbles last year, zero this year. And he played four more games this year, so I can't really look at this and be like, oh, yeah, he's, um, uh, you know, he, he he's close to what he was uh, the year before. No, I think he had a tough year. I, I don't think he played – uh, nearly as well in 2022, uh, but they could drive his price down. Maybe he looks to sign a prove-it one-year deal with somebody, uh, and maybe that team is the Kansas City Chiefs. Subscribe to the Chiefs Report for daily YouTube videos. Hit that sub button and turn on your notifications uh, for uh, more Chiefs coverage. We will continue to bring you uh, more videos here on the Chiefs Report, uh, especially with free agency just around the corner. So don't miss any of that. All you got to do is subscribe to the channel. All right, one more edge rusher, one you guys should be familiar with. How about bring back Justin Houston? Justin Houston set to hit free agency on Monday once again, and you know, when the Chiefs cut him four years ago, a lot of it was due to scheme, uh, going from a 3-4 to a 4-3. But I think some of it, I think the Chiefs kind of thought he was on the decline. And I'm not saying peak Justin Houston is still out there, but he's still been really good the last four years since he's left. His only slightly down year in terms of sacks was 2021, but had 11 in 2019, had 8 in 2020, those two years with the Colts, uh, had 9.5 this past year for Baltimore at 33 years old. He's 34 now, so he's not getting younger. But as a rotation pass rusher, I think there is still uh, a lot of value in Justin Houston. Uh, I think it would be an awesome story for him to return to Kansas City, chase a Super Bowl ring, uh, and add that to his uh, legacy because I think you're looking at a Hall of Fame player. He's got 111.5 career sacks. He'll probably hit 120 plus. Uh, and then, you know, if he can get a Super Bowl ring, he's going to the Hall of Fame. I don't think there's uh, any doubt about that. I don't think he'll be first ballot, but the numbers stack up to guys that get into the Hall of Fame as edge rushers. Uh, and I think he'll be in Canton when it's all said and done. Would love to see him uh, finish his career in a Chiefs uniform, and they could use him. Like, this isn't just one of those sentimental deals, like, oh, bring him in, and he can just kind of be inactive every Sunday but be on the 53. Like, no, like, I think he could be a guy that's your number three type of edge. Like, you've got Carl Loftus. You probably need to get another uh, guy to start opposite of him. But, you know, maybe instead of signing Carlos Dunlap, uh, you bring in Justin Houston. Uh, instead. So I'd be curious to see if there's any interest from Kansas City side. I would wonder if Houston is interested in a return. Uh, also, uh, I would really like to see it happen here this offseason. So pick an edge for Kansas City. Type JC for Jadevian Clowney. Type MD for Marcus Davenport. Or type JH for Justin Houston. Let me know which edge rusher you would like to see uh, sign with the Chiefs. Uh, okay, that's going to do it for today's Chiefs report. Uh, if you have any questions or thoughts, hit me up on Twitter at HGramNFL. You can follow me over there. Uh, and I will see you next time here on the Chiefs report. Thank you.